Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we were building this area in Berwick upon Tweed. So we built the railway station, we built a bunch of roads to try and give the town a, a British feel and get the roads in the right places. Then we broke up some roads as we placed the railways, just like they would do in real life. And we ended up with what you see in front of us, or at least partially what you see in front of us there is a lot more sort of behind and to the sides in this video we're going to be looking at connecting up the railway where you can see the buffers at the end we're going to be looking to connect that railway up all the way to west mercy and then see if we can get the actual line expanded uh, or the route expanded down to berwick upon tweeds tweeds tweed not tweeds after that, if that if we have time left over, we're probably going to be looking at doing a little bit of detailing and I'll be looking at other things that I need to do and other plans that I need to sort of fix up or come up with to continue expanding this series. So I will be talking a little bit about that as we're building. But the most important thing for today's video is going to be connecting this route up to uh, West Mercy and the main line. So make sure you stay tuned. So I've come across a couple of issues here. Uh, issue number one is that we are at 77 meters here, whereas down here we are at 63 meters, so we do have a bit of a dip. But a bigger issue than that is that this really drops quite significantly. So you can see here, look at that, 30 meters. What I'm thinking is that that's about this point. 50 meters this is where this is the lowest we are going to go so for example at this point i'm just going to flatten this up this is going to give us a an indication of what we need to do so there we go right now the other thing is where is this track going to be coming from and where is it going to be going to uh is is it see i can bring this along here now the options i have is i can run it straight through these farms and then straight through the middle of this which may cause us some trouble so the alternative option is i could run it through here along this side and then perhaps and this this is where it gets a bit awkward perhaps try and run it alongside this uh, public right of way or parallel to it and then cut across here and then once we've cut across obviously we join up to this section where we're going to be lifting up and I much prefer that option so I'm going to try and do that option now the other thing I need to look at is how these railways are going to work so I think it's going to be up up down down and uh, so what we should be able to do is if we continue this just for a little while longer at there and that looks reasonable and then I'm just going to keep this flat I'm just going to keep this flat now all the way through and start making our way through these farms. So the first thing I need to do is aim to a specific direction. I think I need to aim over to get through that gap there. So I shall do so. Now it shouldn't be that difficult for me to do this. because it shouldn't be, well, as you can see, it shouldn't be going up and up and down too much. So we should have a bit of a cut like this, which is fine. And then, am I still aiming in the right direction? Oh no, I've, that's too much of a, too much of a curve. Way too much of a curve. Um, 
How did I mess that up? About there. That's better. Like so. And then we just continue. Like this with a little with a little cut in the ground. Which is not going to be a problem, really. And the reason it isn't going to be a problem, you'll see, is because very soon the ground comes back up to meters. So that looks like a good direction. Then we'll continue along here, along here. Along here. Oops. Looking pretty good. And there you go, you can see that the ground is coming back uh, down to meters at this point. So you can clearly see what the plan was through all of that. And that just keeps it as flat as I can possibly make this. Which admittedly is not really that flat, but it's as flat as I can make it at this point in time. There we go. And that's working for me there. So we've, we've kept this at about 60. And now at this point, I need to consider how I'm going to cross this area. So if we go straight, and of course this, this is staying at, at 64. Zoo lane, uh, I don't think many people will know that. Um, I will take out this section of farm. I'll just knock all of this out. And then we need to come up with well, our junction. Which, as you can see, could... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We could. We could do this. Uh, I just need to be a little bit more careful about how I'm going to... Right. Okay. That can be a bridge. That can actually be a bridge. Uh, but I need to... I need to be very careful on this. So if I do this with bridge off, like that, and then like that, and then I go bridge on. Oh, come on, you can do this. That isn't what I wanted. Unless I put the bridge in first. Let's put the bridge in first and then see what happens. So... Why did it not let me pick the bridge? That's the other thing. What's going on there? Oh, maybe because... Okay, I think I know why. I should be able to pick the bridge here. Here we go. Um, which bridge do I want? Are we, are we getting to this this era that we can have these bridges? Ah, that's a little bit low. Okay. Um, let me think. Let me just think. Uh, if I were to bring this up to just just there, just to 67 meters, just for a moment, which means I could, in theory, 
change all of this to be at 67. So it climbs and then cuts. But we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Now if I turn that into a, a bridge. It's happy with the bridge there. That's what I wanted. Except that's doing it to 71. I did not want it to be 71. I wanted it to be 67. Why are you making it 71? Was I not clear on this? How is that 71? What, uh, that doesn't make it a straight... Never mind. That isn't what I wanted, but uh, I suppose... This is what I'm going to get. Oh, I could just use these. I, these? Yeah, that's a weird way of saying that. Uh, I could just use these. So that will do. Okay. No, no, no. We're dropping back down at this point. Okay, and then, whatever this road is, let's find out. Which road is this? I can never figure out what, what roads these are. It's none of these. I, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I just, I think I saw which road it was. It's that road. There we go. And do that to it. It's not bad. It's not exactly the greatest connection, but it is not too bad. Then for this, I'm actually going to break all of this bit and put no dirt there we go rearrange this little bit here no I just used the wrong thing but go there it's been rearranged there that's better much much better okay and then for this area what I want to do is let's make this quite significant so it's going to join at 67 meters but I'm going to make this Quite a significant way to join. There we go. Smoother all the way through. It isn't, is it? 68, 63. It just didn't. It did. It did not do what I wanted it to do. Oh, fine. Be like that then. Right. Next up is this turn that we need to take. So 50 miles per hour for the turn is absolutely fine. And at this point, I again, I'm going to try and keep this. I'll try and do this to it. All the way along. And as I said, we're going to start flattening at this point because we are going to try our very best to somehow bridge this over. Now, I'm not sure how much of a bridge I want to put here. So I'm going to start with this. I'll do that and that and then... Is that, is that flat? I hope so. No, it isn't. 
Why have you done that? That... That isn't what I told you to do. I do not understand. What is so difficult about keeping it flat? Hey, look. That's where you, you have to stay. Do not drop any lower. That looks like it stayed flat. I could clearly see a dip before now. Uh, we want to go over over up to there. So how are we going to do this? Now, I, I do not mind some sort of bridge. Not that one. Uh... Small arches, medium bit. Oh, that looks horrible. It's terrible, that is. Oh, come on. Transport's fever. Stop doing this. Uh, I want to bring this across. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Maybe I should have turned it initially towards... Can I still do that? Probably could. If I turn this... Keep it flat. I am not even sure what's going on anymore. Apparently, nor is. Why? Just why? Fine, let's do that. That's given it the turn. Instead of it facing that way, it's now facing that way. Uh, right. No, stay... Stay up at that altitude. Now, if it connects it up over like... Oh, like that, that would be awesome. And then dug straight into a tunnel and then came out. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do here is let's continue from this side instead. Because I think this side is going to give us some some indication as to where we need to go. And I think we need to start digging down towards a tunnel at this point. I think this is going to be a good idea. Right. You disappear and you disappear. No. Keep digging down. Oh, you, do you seriously not want to tunnel? How is that not tunnel capability? I was kind of hoping for a tunnel that would pop out here. Oh, I, I really do not like this. All uh, right, let's pull this back. Yeah, we're going to pull this back right the way to here. And immediately start dipping down. There we go. Right. Now let's see. So you you tunnel from there. Of course you do. No. No, you don't. I'm going to force you to tunnel in a weird way now. Yeah. That's where you're tunneling from. And you're popping out there, right. Tunnel. Tunnel. Uh, what would happen now if I... No, I don't want to do that. That's what I want to do. Okay, and you pop out here at 61 metres. Uh... I could deal with that. No, I can I can deal with that. Okay, so you disappear, you disappear. And then you will not do that. You will tunnel and re-emerge from said tunnel. About here, should we say? That doesn't look too bad. Alright. 
follow it. Great. So you're now out there. That's your that's your tunnel entrance exit. How long is that tunnel? A couple of hundred, a few hundred meters. Four hundred meters. Not too long at all. Um, for a train doing, for a train doing fifty miles per hour. Uh, let me think. How how long would it take for? Well, if the train was doing, I'm just thinking for a whole train to clear. Is that that's not really something I need to do. So for a train doing 50 miles per hour, a uh, 400 meter tunnel would be, well, let me think. Uh, da -da -da. At 50 miles per hour, you're doing, how much are you doing per, Per minute, so you're doing about about just under a mile a minute. So therefore, for a 400 meter tunnel, it would take you and about 20 seconds, 20 seconds through the tunnel at 50 miles per hour. That's not bad at all. 20 seconds through a tunnel. I'm happy with that. Okay, now. That was really slow maths from my side. I do apologise. It's been a long day. That was very, very slow mathematics. I, I, I should have been way, way faster on that. Now what I want to do is... Uh, you see, now here's, here's a problem once again. No, do not go down. Stay... Stay there. Right. You go there, and you go there. Now let's see these two join. Gosh, that's going to be a huge viaduct, isn't it? I suppose this is what we've got to deal with, because there is no other way of doing this. Uh, can I do... These just look really thin for some reason. So, I mean, I, I like this colour more. The viaduct does sort of work. It'd be... You, it's awkward to get a ship through this. I, I will say that. So what if I tried to bring it across a little bit straighter and then turn it? Let's try that. So let's try and keep this here. So if I try and do that to help ships. Is that better? Okay, there's, there's a, two options for ships to get through. Perfect. Does that still leave the options? Yeah, it still leaves an option for ships. Okay, and then I try to... No. And then... No. And then I try to connect this. What would that give us? A really awkward viaduct, that's for sure. I'm not sure how keen I am on this. Doesn't let me do it anyway. See, so you're driving along here and you just see this huge viaduct. Um, could we bring this a little bit lower, perhaps? Is that something we could do? So if I just... So... If I get rid of this section, let's bring this down to, say, 40 meters or something. Again, it's, it's not just about, it's not just about the, the mechanics of this and the logistics. It's about how would it look? What would they, what would they do?
if they were doing this in the in the real world. And they wouldn't just they wouldn't just throw a a whopping great wouldn't just throw a whopping great um viaduct in into nowhere. That would be silly. Right, so that's fifty one meters. That's forty one meters. That's quite a severe drop, but I can deal with this. Down to four let's do this. There. That's a massive change. 38 meters. It is going downhill. You can see it's going downhill. But it's gradual. Okay. Now all I've got to do is figure this one out. Now, for this one, what I could do is I could actually start doing a little bit more of a gradual downhill. So it's come out of the tunnel. Hooray. And then from here, just start doing a a gradual downhill. Okay, so that reaches 46 meters. So we still have a a six meter difference here. Where are you going? Go there. Um, but look at that. We can do this. We can do this because if I bring that to 40, I change that to... Those are nice bridges. They, they are fancy bridges, I, I completely admit, but they're not the kind of bridges we want to use at this point in time, unfortunately. Why does this... Okay, never mind. It's because it's one of those. Um... Let's do. There we go. That. Oh no, no, no! Saw the one I wanted. That's the one. Do that matches along here. Yeah, I can. I can control it by doing that. There we go. Right. So now I've done that. All I've got to do is manage to make it across here and if you look at this oh no 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 that's going downhill still and I got rid of something I wasn't supposed to uh, although to be fair this farm's probably gone so I'll, I'll work on that keep that flat no keep that flat there we go that's it. Like so. This would make sense, you know. In the future, cars driving along and then you'd have this. Although, what happened there was just not making any sense. That's the wrong one. There we go. I need to ensure that it keeps these... Yeah, I have to ensure that it keeps these. Otherwise, it's just it's not going to look right. There we go. Okay. Now I've just got to make it across to there. Here comes the difficult part again. So if I were to just connect up like that, what do we get? There are ways across. Uh, you can see that, but it's a very, very sharp diagonal what i would much prefer is a straight and then a so this is what i'm going to do stay in line there we go still 50. now we're up on a viaduct we have a road to our right we have the river to our left not a problem yeah really not a problem road to our right river to our left we are up on a viaduct it's a weird place to have a viaduct, but it's a viaduct nonetheless. And now we peel, we turn. We turn, we aim. So I'm aiming there. We turn, we aim, we connect. And then we try to see what happens. Much better. Much, much better. 
and I am happy to take that as a... Yep, I am happy to take that as the as the viaduct. Right, let's quickly clean up any trees and stuff that are hiding in here. I, I probably will have to come back and do this again, but uh, just want to clear up a little bit. That's, you know, things are a little too close. Just so it doesn't look too silly. There we go. Okay, that is connected. Now I wonder, is there a clearer way of doing this? I think there could be. Go across and then instead of turning it, come across here and then turn it. Although, could there be a valid reason for this S-Bend? Let me know in the comments box, do you think that S-Bend should stay? I say it's an S-Bend, it's not even S-Bend, it's just a... Whatever it is, do you think that should stay or should I smooth the track out all the way along? I think this gives it just a little bit of character if I'm... Per to be perfectly honest, but... There we go, that is the... The viaduct done. I wasn't expecting it to be that quite so difficult, but it is complete, which means that now we can begin sending trains up to this area. That's a that's a big deal, but before we do that, I'm going to add some bus stops in. Uh, here we go. UK bus stop. So, where are the bus stops going to go? Well, I would like to have a bus stop on, on this side. We can have a bus stop on the crescent. Um, no, we'll, ha we'll have a bus stop. Bus stop here. Bus stop along here. Coming down here, we'll probably have. Kind of want the bus stop to go out that way, but I'm not sure that that is going to happen. So I'll have the bus stop here. Uh, we will bring the bus stop along here, up here. Down this side street, which I guess will end up becoming the main road. And then I think we'll take it along here. Down here for now, and then into the bus station. So we'll just have a, a, a little bit of a, a weird loop. We could create two loops. We could create a loop on this side and a loop on this side. That would be interesting. Let's try, let's try that. So, we'll create two loops for, for this setup. We're going to create uh, one, two, three, four new lines. Let's get the lines set up first and then I'll label them up. So one, two, three, four. That's it, one, two, three, four. Um, oh, actually, sorry. I'm thinking the British way is going to be one, two, three, four really annoying the second line we'll do will be i guess I suppose it didn't make any difference because i'm going to do one of these yeah, i was going to do one of these anyway uh so there is that then this one can be one two come on two two berwick your sign's getting in the way two three four five and then this one can be one two three four five. Oh, i missed a station oops uh before here i want you to go past there now why would you do that just go this way what's what's the matter with you there we go that's better and for for this one as well after West Street, just need to pop down here, please. Again, not not the. There we go. Easy peasy. Nothing to to be concerned about. There we go. Okay. So that those are the four lines now. I shall colour the lines. Bright red. Uh, deeper red. Uh, bright red. And deeper red. Now, obviously, where they where they intersect, we are going to have some 
some issues. Where are you going? Why can you not just turn this way? I do not understand. The the pathfinding in this game, I, I have to admit, that one of the downsides of this game, the pathfinding in Transport Fever 1 was much better. Much, much better. You'd actually have, so it'd come out of this station and it would pull into this lane and turn. That, it was so much better, the pathfinding. They, they do need to work on that and I, I certainly hope that they do. Right. So you are in platform one. You are in platform two. You're in platform three. So can you use platform four perhaps? You can. There we go. All the platforms are now in use. Um, I think though, I think using, um, let me see. Okay, I think that this one should use platform two. This one should use platform one. That might be a little bit better. Just a smidge better. Not much though. That's re that is really going to annoy me. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's me uh, name all these lines. P A R D Ber Berwick uh, zero 01. And I shall copy that. Zero 02. Zero 03. Zero 04. This is the first one that's had multiple, more than two routes. Right, uh, let's build a road depot. This will do. Where should we have it? Where should we have this road depot? I'll tell you what. This does not look like a bad spot for a road depot. Go on. How far back can I push this? There. Perfect. And uh, let's buy some vehicles. So, we shall use these annoying vehicles. We'll have four. That will be red maximum onto zero one. I shall then purchase another four. Same thing, maximum a uh, deeper red, zero two. I shall then purchase, uh, should we say six? It's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six. Six, seven, no, six. I shall purchase six. Guess what? Exactly the same thing. Bright red. Zero three. And if you haven't guessed already, we shall purchase another six. In deeper red. Very high maintenance cost. And on zero four. There we go. Right. Let's get these all up and running. And in the meantime, let's connect this up properly. Uh, oops. No. There we go. 50. 50. Uh, do you know what? I could probably do a 50 mile per hour junction here. Not a problem. Done it before. Real life has this as well. There we go. 50. 50. That's done. That's done. All we have to do is ensure that this is correct. So... This is going to be the 25 mile per hour one. Is 25 going to be... Apparently that's too much curvature for some reason. There. And there. There. And there. And because we have to now do the across, there, and there. Okay, now is this going to work the way I want it to? It should. 
train coming across yeah for now it will work we will have to have additional crossovers uh, if we if we need to do in fact what if what if I did a crossover from from here right the way across will that will it accept that it does just and then would it accept this going right the way across here just about and then if I slip these there we go. It's, it's a weird setup. It's certainly a weird setup, but it's a setup nonetheless. Okay. And um, I think we've pretty much run out of time there for, for this video. So what I am looking to do is I'll try off camera if I get a chance, which is uh, not very often at this point in time, it seems. But I will try and do what I'm doing right now, complete all of these, fill these all up, and then that's way we've got a complete we've got a complete route. That's just wrong. Um, there we go. So we've got a route with the with the right scenery and everything up and running in, in a fairly decent manner. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and do that off camera. Um, then what we can do in the next video is we can have a ride along on this new section So we can, we can actually do a proper ride along in the new section of track Because that's not connecting properly. I'm going to just do this right Yeah, I think riding along on the new section of track would be pretty nice We can see we can see things coming in and out of Berwick and it also gives us the opportunity to improve our improve our trains and you'll see why uh, in a moment because before I end this video I am going to fast forward a little. I've also noticed my computer's not running the way it should be running and it's causing some cause for concern there but oh well I'm watching it out of the corner of my eye and something is something is really not working on it. I'm surprised it hasn't crashed yet. That's that's how weird it's it is behaving. Or weirdly it's behaving, should I say. English. You're supposed to use it properly. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll try and take a a screenshot of, of something. Uh, I suppose this this section this section here? Out of the tunnel. Yeah, let, let's try and do this as, as a screenshot. See the tunnel nice and low. That actually works. Yep, that does actually work. So, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2. Uh, oh dear. There we go. Screenshot wasn't taking. Uh, Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadget, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me. And I will see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. And once again, I have to say, the farms in the distance look just about right for the United Kingdom. Hmm. I'll see you next time.